Hello everyone, this is Dwell from North, bringing you yet another Ninth Age Battle Report. Now, this time I'm up against uh, Orcs and Goblins. Um, I have played against them before in Ninth Age, although it was a uh, kind of long time ago, uh, before the rules uh, changed so much, uh, so it's a completely, co complete <laughs> completely different like setup, different army, different rules and stuff, stuff like that, but... Yeah, I'm still excited. Always fun to go up against the green skins. Um, especially, I, I, I like a lot to uh, meet Orcs and Goblins in uh, Warhammer 8th edition. Um, mainly because they were pretty underpowered. Uh, and, uh, and so much randomness that you could almost never control it. And uh, I always said that if I lose against Orcs and Goblins, I'm alright with that. <laughs> Except for the last tournament if you've seen that bad report. If not, go back and see that. Gates of Westridge, Game 4 against Orcs and Goblins. Oh my god. Uh, but over to this match. So, my opponent rocks from left to right. A level 1 Goblin Shaman uh, taking the signature of uh, their own little lore. I don't know what it's called. An um, Orc Shaman uh, level 3 Wilderness. That's pretty nice. A Goblin BSB, uh, Orc Warlord, I think has a plus 3 strength sword. It's either that or a plus 2 strength. Uh, and has a 4 plus ward and then you can take 2 one up armor save mundane I believe. Um, it maybe has some enchanted shield or something, I don't know. Uh, another Goblin Shaman level 1, also with signature. A Goblin Boss, I think it's naked, uh, just mundane equipment on a spider. And then a Orc boss on the Chariot, and I'm pretty certain he has the Flaming Lance. So, over to my characters. Uh, Chieftain BSB with uh, Hailshot and Guardian Kindred. I didn't give anything else, actually. Uh, another Chieftain with the Wild Hunter Kindred, uh, BSB and Halberd, and Helm of the Hunt. Now, I was going to take this, the Spear from uh, Sylvanels, the Sacred Spear of Cadron. But I, I played it wrong. This all, I'm, I'm still... I, I should believe that you could use a spear on Cav, but you can't. It needs to be a light lance to be able to do that. So I've played it wrong, but it's the same points value as Beast Bin Hallberg, so my opponent agreed on that I could just change it. So the upside is I'm always strength 5, and uh, downside is I'll, I'm always multiple wounds too against monsters and stuff. I'm not getting distracting and a minus one armor save, but whatever. <laughs> I'm, 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 a st I'm still after the strength five, multiple wounds two stuff. And then I have a druid on a, on a uh, elven horse, level two sh uh, shadow uh, with a scroll. I have a high druid, level three alchemy with the ancient brooch and tome of arcane lore. Now, this is a new setup I'm trying. Um, I'm probably gonna try to do some more lists. This list I just made in like five minutes to be able to play the game so uh, it's not that well thought of uh, I just put in some stuff uh, I, I wanted to try alchemy with Sylvanels and see how it, if you can make that work um, and then I have my general a prince uh, garden kindred armor of destiny and the whirlwind blade so this guy is it has a two up armor save strength six multiple wounds two with a crap load of weapon skill, um, so probably hitting on threes due to the great weapon, but yeah, he still has like five attacks, it's still nice, very nice. So deployment, I got to deploy first, and this is my right flank, oh, I have the new camera, so I'm, <laughs> I took some time to get uh, used to it, but this is like the zoom and everything, <laughs> as you can see, it's very closed up. Better pictures though, I need to say. Um, I have a unit of seven wild riders, uh, wild huntsmen, uh, full, no, with the full command, I think they have a champion and musician, uh, together with uh, the wild huntsman character. And then I just had to bring this one out, the forest guardians, uh, no, the forest rangers, uh, together with my general. Since I have took the time to paint them up, now I need to use them. <laughs> and a unit of, I think it's 13 um, archers. Behind them, you have eight or nine, eight uh, Heath Guard, uh, Heath Riders, um, together with the level two shadow. 
the big block of um, Force Guardians together with the BSB. You can see the flag there on the top right. And you have nine Sentinels. Now the Sentinels, I love the Sentinels, I just need to say that. Uh, together with the level 3 um, Alchemy Wizard. A Great Eagle and a unit of seven Blade Dancers. And my opponent, he has a unit of um, Squig Herds. I don't know if it's called that right now, I think it is. Um, five spiders, uh, vanguarding, so this is the vanguard. And uh, the chariot, he has a big spider in the forest there. Behind the spider, you can see a um, doom diver. And here, a goblin chariot, uh, his goblin boss on a spider. A big unit of um, orcs. Big boys, or what's whatever it's called, together with the level 3 and the general. Behind a unit of uh, goblins, together with the beast bee and the two level 1s. And behind that unit, a catapult. And then another doom diver. A um, goblin chariot. It's the unpainted one with the goblin on it. And the war shrine proxies as a orc chariot. And another unit of five spiders, vanguarding. So I deployed first, I wanted to go first, uh, so I went first. Um, so I just move up uh, a little bit, kind of, yeah, Blade Dancer into the forest, because Blade Dancer in the forest is always a good, you can throw anything you want, enemy, I'm still gonna be there, I'm still gonna do a ton of damage, so it's a good position to be in. Otherwise, just shuffle up the lines, um, up with the Wild Huntsman on the hill. Shooting face, Sentinels shows, shows their true color immediately and uh, kills off one of the Doom Divers. Um, nothing panic though, because of the BSB in general being so close, um, but still pretty good. And I think even the uh, f archers uh, made the two wounds on the spider. Uh, oh, freaking love the new, the new ar core archers, man. Armor piercing, fuck yeah. <laughs> And that's everything that happened in my turn. Orcs and Goblins, turn one. He moves up to chaff up the uh, Blade Dancers with, uh, with his uh, spiders. Otherwise, just moves up with kind of everything like this. Like that. And of course, uh, shafts up my uh, Wild Huntsman. And there's a picture. Of his uh, orcs. I love the new the new camera is nice. It, it, though you can see all the details now in the models. That's pretty nice. Um, this is probably his uh, one of his doom divers who's catapult, killing off three uh, sentinels and uh, also some forest guardians. Uh, kills off the great eagle. Nothing panics though. Uh, my turn too. Now this is what I mean. I need to. <laughs> <laughs> learn the camera. Uh, so I charge uh, my character out of the unit into uh, towards the chariot. I needed like a 9 with switch strike so it's kind of statistical but I rolled like a 4 or something stupid like that. Uh, so I just shoves up. Now my captain is in a bad spot. <laughs> You'll see a picture of the whole situation in, you know later. Uh, Blade Dancer is just, yeah, charge the spiders, why not get them out of the game. Otherwise, just move up, uh, move the centers away from the flank, behind the lines. Same here, moves up um, the Heath, Heath Riders. Um, have, I have a bit of a plan here to save the uh, Chieftain, you'll see what it is. Now, here you can see the Chariot. Being there, that's why I tried to charge, but failed. And yeah, in a magic phase, uh, since I have a level 2 shadow, I, I think I got Mind Racer and Enfeebling f and Turn to Smoke. Um, so I got off Mind Racer on my, uh, <laughs> on my Ordinary Archers, I mean, because they were in the... I, I, they were in a pretty bad spot. I think he would have charged with both Chariot and his character into them and he would kind of run through them, I believe. So I gave them a Mind Racer and as a byproduct I saved my Chieftain. Uh, he got a, the attribute, 10 inch move, awesome. So he's inside the unit again and he's safe. In the shooting phase I pop Hail uh, shot and kill off the Chariot and 
the uh, or archers open up on the character, make it doing one wound to him. Close combat phase, easily kill off the spiders, you just reform, still majority enforced. And this is how the board look with a blurry picture. Um, yeah, now you can see why my chieftain would be in a bad spot. He would, would be able to be charged by chariot and a spider. <laughs> Uh, I yeah, that would have been that would have sucked big time. So Orcs and Goblins turn two. It kind of surprised me to not charge the blade dancers with the orc chart, just moves it forward as for much as he can. Uh, kind of threaten my flank instead. Otherwise, just shuffles up with everything. Uh, move up the character to chop up the forest rangers instead of charging anything right now. Uh, Kind of a decent thing to do. Let's close a picture of that. And I don't think nothing else happened. My turn, blade dancers, charge flank of the chariot. The chariot have taken two wounds from um, my turn two from the uh, sentinels. Uh, so yeah, I'm not too worried about that. Over here, yeah, ch charge the chaff, charge the other chaff, just get them off the board. In hindsight, I should not have done that, I believe. No, I should have not done that. <laughs> See another picture of that, I believe. With the movement, and it is this side. And yeah, close combat phase, I easily kill off the chariot. Easily kill off the spider, uh, kill off the um, goblin on spider, and Easily kill off the spiders. Now I needed like a six on the overrun to get into those squig ho uh, squ that squig herd, which would have just been awesome. Because I'm not too uh, too scared of chariot actually moving. If he charges me and get impact hits, I'll feed him my champion. I think I will still win. Uh, he can get like a charge and a flank. I'll get a charge and I'll do a crap load of wounds on the squig herd. Um, I'll still win combat, and if he, if he doesn't break, I, I'm thinking I'm probably gonna lie with a annihilated that unit and would be able to reform against the chariot or run him down wherever. Uh, so that overrun, yeah, fuck it. <laughs> so my opponent turn three he. Yells wag, which now uh, nowadays gives uh, every orc plus one attack on the charge. It's, it's shit, <laughs> now it's actually pretty cool. So he charges uh, first this big unit into my uh, forest rangers. That's gonna hurt. Uh, his general is actually in base contact with my generals. <laughs> yeah, he then charges the uh, chariot into the same unit and then the spiders into the flank of the um, wild huntsman so in base contact with my character which is yeah this could kind of hurt but I think the spider has taken four wounds no he's taken two wounds yeah two wounds that's it but yeah this is still gonna hurt the squig you heard just stands there I think the even I don't know if he failed charge or if he actually just moved them. And over here I just do... Moves, chops up the chariot. And here you can see the... Yeah, he, all, all his wizards have taken one wound because in, I think it's turn one. When I, I died some sentinels uh, from... It was from magic. Uh, he actually miscast and rolled uh, that every wizard takes a hit. And all the wizards actually took a wound, so that's pretty good. And he reformed this unit as this. And yeah, big, much, many things happening here. I'll start off with the spider because it's so, it's so freaking legendary. So <laughs> he charges, uh, the spider charges uh, the flank of the wild huntsman. I'm standing in base kind of with a character. My character just, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just hit him. <laughs> so I have four attacks, uh, three in, three base and plus one for frenzy since I haven't lost combat yet. <clears throat> I have the beast been halberd, so I'm strength 5. I'm hitting on 2s. 
And so I hit everything, and out of those four hits, I actually, I wounded on five, so I actually managed to get five, <laughs> three wounds through. <laughs> and since it's the beast being home, it's multiple wounds two against monsters, so he dies six wounds and his spider dies. <laughs> before he could even hit back. So, <laughs> so freaking lucky, but so funny. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's so awesome, this is why we play this game, right? <laughs> So since I didn't charge, I just reform to try to save my lines. <laughs> uh, in big combat though, he, we were in a challenge with uh, his general against my general. Um, I still had five attacks, uh, missed all of them. No, I didn't miss all of them. I actually hit all of them. Uh, wounding on threes and I roll like three ones or something stupid like that. and. He got, I think he had like a 6 up, 4 up, or a 5 up, 4 up, and he managed, one wound managed to slip through. Uh, I think he did the same, I, I got 2 wounds through, I believe. Um, he, made, he failed both armor saves and then made one ward save. And uh, it was multiple wounds too, so he took 2 wounds, but in return, he just kill my general since I can draw a 4 up ward save to save my life so my general died, that kind of sucks now the force gardens weren't uh, stubborn anymore um, I still did a bunch, of, a bunch of wounds to him but he did a lot more to me uh, so I broke, fled, he did not catch me uh, either with the chariot or with the um, orcs, the orcs all ran into the archers so they're in a bad spot right now, but yeah, the Wild Riders can actually save it. This because of the heroics of uh, my chieftain. <laughs> um, also, the Force Guns managed to run away, but yeah, that's a poor. Yeah, this kind of sucks. Um, so this is how it looks. Oh, it's my turn. Yeah, I charge the Wild Huntsman into the chariot first. Uh, he flips with the chariot. I redirect into the uh, into the flank of his orcs. Hoping to do enough wounds to kill him off or to break him. Uh, my plan in Mag Magic Phase is just to throw that stupid Mind Racer on the arches again. Otherwise, I just move like this, reform the Force Guardian to charge the flank. Same here, just reforming. Oh, and also my uh, Forest Guardian. No, they did not rally actually, they fled again. Uh, so in combat, yeah, you can see, I kill off a crap load of orcs. Uh, I did not get off Mind Racer uh, on the archers. Uh, the archers were still heroic, though. <laughs> one left, he, <laughs> that one archer took so many hits without dying, it's, it's insane. Um, but as you can see, I think I'm two models away from breaking his steadfast. Um, so yeah, that kind of sucks, but... Yeah, hopefully I can hold his next turn and counter charge with uh, the Forest Guardians and kill that unit off. So, uh, Oxen Goblin's turn 4, he just moves up with Chart over here. And yeah, he it, it charges the rear of the Wild Huntsman with uh, Squig Herd. Charges stiff uh, flank with the Goblins. So yeah, that's kind of suck. <laughs> um, and also, why it's so good that that uh, Archer survived is that he couldn't reform to face his front against my Wild Huntsman. But uh, I don't think it will do so much difference right now. Yeah, it's not a picture of that. This side, the bear. He, uh, he got off some magic missile or catapult or something to kill off uh, the Sentinels. And yeah, here's he reforms with a uh, rallies with the chart and reforms like this. And yeah, after combat, he kills off the last ar archer. He kills off the wild huntsman. He, I think he, he f f fed his uh, golden champion to my chieftain. And um, yeah, he fled. He couldn't catch me. That's a little. Yeah, yeah. He, he, my chieftain taking one. Well, uh, he actually has a. I missed a save in deployment. I believe he, to the. F Right in, in the top right corner, he actually has a um, bolt thrower. 
uh, Golden Bolt Thrower, and when I was in the Wild Huntsman unit before, uh, it was five guys, but one was champion, so I did not get any lookout, sir. And we did not find any rule that said that the Bolt Thrower would hit rank and file first. Um, and the allocation nowadays actually works that the shooting player uh, choose where to allocate the hits. So he did hit, and he chose to shoot it on my character, of course. But fortunately for me, he just rolled a one for the for the wound roll, so that's why I'm taking one wound. <laughs> but yeah, still, that 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 was kind of scary. So uh, Sylvanas turn five, ignore the red zone. That's a kill pile. <laughs> I know it's kind of kind of messy here. Um, so I charged my forest gardens uh, to his uh, orcs. He decides to flee, and I could not catch him. And I also charge the blade dancers into his goblins and decides to flee. And I did not catch him. I don't know why I forgot those arrows. Um, my force range uh, actually rallies the same as my chieftain. It just reforms like this. Now here you can see that. Yeah, <laughs> kind of late though. Did he go for spell on them? Yeah, Quicksilver Cloak. I got a Quicksilver Cloak on Yeah. I also, the Path of Alchemy together with the Forest Guardians, I was just, I was having like three up armor save on them the whole game. That's why nothing died. He got like a perfect hit with this uh, catapult, but it's not armor piercing anything. So, yeah, the one behind the hole died, but the 21 <laughs> hits he got, he still had to wound on four, so it's say 10 hits, and I had a three up armor save against that, which so just, yeah, it's just awesome. Yeah, we're just still feast. This is how it looks. And yeah, I got off a shadow spell and bounced the chieftain right out, right into the unit again. So same trick once again. Loving that. That's why I had took a, a um, shadow uh, druid just to be able to do this. Uh, I have a, I want to try out like a cab army but that's for yeah with with shadow to jump characters around but that's for another another time <laughs> and orcs and goblins turn five he charges the sentinels i'd say to flee. it was still a long charge but i still decided to flee because if he would have got into that combat i think he would have just killed the level three and that would kind of suck so i fled far enough to be out of harm's way and not over the board and since uh, Yeah, I'm, I'm still above 25%, so I'm still on, on uh, normal lead chip. Of course, uh, both the orcs and the goblins rallies. And here he just reforms like this, I believe. He got off a spell on the orcs, I think it was um, plus one strength, plus one toughness. I don't know what happened. <laughs> And yeah, in his magic phase, he throws, I think he, I don't know if it's a spell or if it's, uh, yeah, it's a spell. It's a goblin signature spell. Uh, he shoots at the sentinels, manages to kill one, bloody hell, I'm half, half legion now. That's kind of sucks. I'm still precisely within 12 inch of the beast speed though, but this means I can't charge his orcs. Uh, because the BSP will be uh, out of range, and I will only have one try on my leadership five. <laughs> it kind of sucks. So, so let's turn six. So I charged the character. This it was a really long charge. Um, I, I needed to draw a ten, uh, I believe, but I actually made it, which is awesome. So, uh, yeah. I think I'm too used to playing like Chaos where the chariot actually costs a few points. This stupid goblin chariot, yeah, kind of a waste, but I still have fun to do. It's a nice stunt to do. So he charges out, gets into the flank of the chariot. Um, the riders just decide, they can't march since he charged out, but he can move, so they moved flat out away from his chariot, which still can see them. Well, he couldn't see them before, but uh, they. Kind of, they, they move up to get out of uh, range from the orcs, 
but now it's shared can see them but uh, yeah it's still it's a it's a long one uh, my blade dancers try to charge the uh, orcs um, also they needed kind of a long charge my plan here is yes one would left noise general my plan is to get in there do the dance I I have to either get off mind racer and kill off both his characters or get not get any spell in and just everyone hits the general with that uh, take that dance and try to kill him off um, so that's the plan there. I did not char charge with the Forest Guardian to be able to rally with my wizard. And here, yeah, the Wild Huntsman just moves up out of uh, line of sight of both units. It's kind of awesome. And my wizard, yeah, my wizard rallies, I can say that, on the reroll. So it's lucky for me I actually studied with BSP. Uh, the chief then easily kills off the chariot and all run into the forest to get some cover. And yeah, Orcs and Goblins turn 6, so he doesn't charge me with anything, why, why should he? Uh, except for with the Chariot. So, the Chariot charges the Heast Riders, I'm, I'm like, yeah, of course, I'm, I'm, I'm fleeing, charge action. I roll a triple 1 for my flea roll. <laughs> triple 1, come on! I mean, come on! He still, <laughs> he still needs to roll like a 9 or 10, and of course he makes it and kills off the unit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so so silly, so stupid, so stupid. But yeah, that's the end of the game, <laughs> and it's a green skin victory. <laughs> so this is my first loss in ninth age. Uh, but yeah, it's against orcs and goblins, so it's all right. And this is actually my opponent had like seven losses in a row, so he's actually he's. He deserves this victory, <laughs> but uh, yeah, that that last that last uh, chariot charge there is just legendary. Kind of yeah, it was it's it was a lot of lucky stuff and unlucky stuff happening this match. It was a really great game to play, um, but yeah, I, from this point forward, I'm actually gonna put some effort in making some decent lists that I actually like uh, instead of just throwing together some. Some lists. Now, now I feel I've tried every unit and uh, I know what to do. Now I need to b b get a bit sharper when it comes to list building. <laughs> so stay tuned for more battle reports. And as always, go to the Ninth Age website and get into the whole Ninth Age hype as everyone else. And uh, catch you on the next one.